everyone. My name is Tyra Walker. For those who don't know me, thank you so much, River City Live, for having me on today's show to share three easy steps to take in order to gain more following on your social media platform, Instagram specifically. I know with so many businesses and so many um, influencers on Instagram, it's a little hard to step out of the box and get recognized, right? And to get more followers for your brand, your, your business, your restaurant, etc. And so I studied these three simple tips that has gotten me a little bit more of a following on social media. And so I would love to share that with you all on today. Three simple steps. So grab your pen and your paper and write it down. Tip number one, know your audience. What is your niche? In other words, what are you great at when it comes down to your hobbies or your personal interests or your passion? Are you a content creator? Are you a chef? Are you a ballerina? Are you a fisherman? Listen, there are so many different pages that people are looking for and ready to connect with. So you just have to find your niche. For instance, for me, I am a lifestyle blogger. I am also an author and a faith influencer. And so my page is dedicated to sharing my faith and my outfits and my reporter life as well. And so I aim it to a specific audience. So you have to know your audience, okay? If you are a chef, post your food photos. There are a lot of foodies out there, including me, and I love to see food. I love to see people's recipe videos. So narrow it down. What is that one thing that you're great at? What is that one thing you want others to know about you and connect with you? So put that together and come up with a plan. Know your content ahead of time. For instance, for me, I am very busy throughout the week. I'm a reporter, so I don't get much free time during the week. But on Saturdays, I do photo shoots for my social media. So I do one photo shoot and I wear about three to four outfits. That way I can have all my content planned out for at least two weeks, okay? We are all busy out there. So I keep say saying chefs, okay? There must be a chef out there watching. If you love to cook, cook like three or four different meals in one day and just spread that content out. That way you can have your content and keep building that following, okay? So know your content, know who your audience is. If you want certain followers to be following your lifestyle and your gifts, put that in your bio, okay? So in my bio, I have author, I have TV reporter, all in there. So when someone comes to my page, they can automatically know, hmm, this girl here does this, this, and this. I like one of these, so let me go ahead and follow. So tip number one, know your audience. Now, moving on to tip number two, the use of hashtags. Okay, now I used to be one of those people that got tired of seeing so many hashtags on a person's caption, but there's a way around that, okay? So Instagram lets you use up to 30 hashtags per post, right? But you don't want that in your caption because it just, it just doesn't look right, right? It's not aesthetically pleasing, as they say. So what I do, I put my captions in my comments. So I make a pretty caption, right? Oh, it's Friday. So my caption is, it's Friday, taking a stroll out on the park, right? I use all the hashtags related to my photo and I put them in the captions. That way, you don't have to see all those big captions on a photo as you're going down your timeline. Now, the great thing about hashtags is that Instagram has a way where as you're typing in that hashtag, you can see how many posts are under that hashtag. So this is the thing. You don't want to use a hashtag that has over a million posts, right? Because your photo is going to drown in all of those posts that's using the same hashtag as yours. You also don't want to use a hashtag that has maybe 500 or less because who is going to see that, right? So you want to find that perfect balance of the use of hashtags, meaning Okay, so say I went, say I've had a full face of makeup, right? I wouldn't want to use the hashtag makeup because there's going to be millions of people using that same hashtag. So you want to find something that's smaller between 5,000 to 10,000. That is what I always do. And what's perfect is as you're typing in that hashtag, so many pop up under that category, you can see underneath how many posts is dedicated to that. So you want to use between 5,000 and 10,000. Now, sometimes you want to go big, why not? But with 30 hashtags, you have to narrow it down and use one that people are actually going to see on their feed. And you'd be surprised. There are a lot of people using up the, using the weirdest hashtags ever. Um, so you just have to do your research when it comes down to that. 
So if I do something faith-based, right, I will use hashtags that's centered around my faith. So I'll use Christian life or godly women, um, godly Christians, really, um, hashtags like that where people will see it. Now, I wouldn't use those same hashtags for, say, my reporting photos that I post. I would put more so of reporting sports, news, hashtags like that where people like my individuals who may see that hashtag. Finally, the third easy tip to help build your social media platform and your growth and getting those followers that we want, be consistent, okay? Are you one of those people who only post, say, once a month or twice every other week? You're not going to gain momentum. You're not going to see that following coming in, okay? Post, I post every single day. But it goes back to me saying earlier when I say know your content, I plan out my posts in advance. So even though my followers see me posting every day, honestly, nine times out of 10, I'm at home watching Netflix on my couch because I've already planned out my post for the week. Therefore, I'm probably dressed up on my social media, but I'm lounging around in my pajamas in real life. And so you want to be consistent. Post every single day. Before I started posting consistently, I was like, no one wants to see my face every day. But a, that's not true, and B, it doesn't matter. You have blogs like The Shade Room, um, Entertainment Tonight, all these blogs that post every single day and no one says anything about it, so what makes you any different? And if it's content that people wanna see, trust me, they're gonna follow you for not posting every day. <laughs> so believe me, I have seen that as well. You wanna be consistent, and that's not just with Instagram, but that's with a lot of things in life, okay? If you do something one time and you expect to see results, it may not happen, but if you continuously do it on a daily or weekly basis, you're going to see that fruit grow into something much bigger than yourself. And so that's very, it, at first it was a little hard for me to get into the habit of it, but once I got into the habit, I started planning out my captions, planning out my posts, I realized, wow, it's a lot easier than I thought it was. I was overthinking it, just post, just post. Even if you think, oh, it's not gonna get a, a bunch of likes, still post it because it can gain momentum by tip number two, using those hashtags. Well, I hope these three easy tips were easy for you to understand and follow. Once again, my name is Tyra Walker. You can catch me here on, right here on WJXT Channel 4 News for Jacks every Sunday at four o'clock with ITG Next, giving you all the latest high school sports. I'm Tyra Walker signing out. Thank you so much. The countdown has started to send your kids back to school on a budget. And Goodwill has everything your kids need, from kindergarten to college. Don't let the first day of school sneak up. Visit your local Goodwill in North Florida.